right, so this is game two. Opponent's deciding whether he wants to play or draw. Taking his time, might have went to the washroom or something. Might be multi queuing. Okay, <sighs> so he opts to play first, and this hand's really good. Got all our colors. It's got it lets us be able to activate a monarch replica. Has uh, early defensive cards. Looks good. Definitely not only getting this. Pulling moles to six. Okay. So effectively, we're two cards up on him already with this Moriok replica. I mean, he's playing golden urns, so we're three cards up on him. Uh, yeah, not really doing anything else here. We should probably be able to seal this one away, unless our opponent like gets out a quick mirror battle sphere or something like that. But we got ways to deal with that. So, and charge up his urn. Oh, kept the one land spell bomb on Golden Urn. Um, I actually just want to shatter his spell bomb right now. I think that is just better than doing anything else. Just deny him any further lands. It might be a little greedy here, but eh, I'm gonna do it anyways. You know what? Actually, hmm, no, no, I'm just gonna do it anyways. Yeah. I was thinking about just waiting to play the Scrap Melter, but I'm getting so much value here. He can't draw a card off his Spell Bomb, because if I waited a turn, he might just be sitting there with one green mana up, so if I killed it, he'd be able to draw a card off it. So I'm effectively denying him two cards by shattering it now, which seems perfectly fine to me. Yep, got him more or less landlocked for a while. Uh, I'm gonna run out my replica. <coughs> oh, got out of it. <coughs> so yeah, if he doesn't do anything here. Yeah, so the timing of my scrap melter would have been a little bit off. He would have been able to draw a card, or at least find a land off it. So I think shattering it there was fine. Um, I'll play the swamp first and then attack, in case he wants to do any kind of shenanigans. We disperses, I'm okay with that though. Alright, just gonna run everything out here. That, and that's my bomb too. <coughs> yep, seems good. Not that great, but seems fine, I suppose. Ooh, that looks good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna battle with my Dark Steel Axe for now. Um, maybe. Hmm, do I want to cycle my Spell Bomb? Hmm. I don't want to let him draw a card, so I'd rather just be down a few, like down mana. For I don't really need much more mana, anyways. I'm just gonna beat him with my replicas. Oh wait, I should just leave up white in case he decides to do something tricky with my against my spell bomb. <coughs> so we're gonna battle, and he's gonna be in for a rough ride if he doesn't have anything. I mean, he does have effectively five life off that golden or six if he wants to wait more, but.
do. That card's fine. Um, this point could battle trade a Moyak replica with a Drake. Or hmm, it's a little tough. Uh, I'll just battle first and probably gonna block on the 4-2. Um, the thing is, like, he's gonna draw a card off my replica one way or another, but I think I need the cards now, especially now that I drew the Dark Steel Sentinel. Yeah, I mean, this card is so good against us. Jeez. Yeah, it's a battle. <coughs> Um, yeah, I actually need the cards. I think I need to dig for, like, revoke existence, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sack this guy. Uh, sigh. You draw one, I draw two, I lose two life. It's not that fair. Not that fair. Alright, there's some lands. Alright, take your two. Uh, at this point I'm going to play out Necropy, because I can. Yes, the other option was like equipping or playing Wall of Tangle Cord, and I'm in the offensive position here, so there's no reason for me to slow down and play a wall until he plays something I have to care about. I guess the other option is I could have sat back and not played Necropede, Necropede and cycled my spell bomb, which could be better as well. But I didn't want to give him a card before my next turn, in case that changes whatever decision he makes. Um, even if it's the end of his turn, it could alter things slightly. But maybe he has to think of a way of how to deal with Necropede now. Who knows? He's in a battle with his guy. Hmm. I don't know about that, but sure, I will take two. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> Alright, so, kind of in a funny, sort of awkward situation here with the uh, creatures blocking and not blocking. Hmm. Could wait and just play Sentinel. Could play Spell Bomb, make his guy not block, takes three. Probably wait a turn for that, though, especially considering I have Sentinel. Um, if I don't do anything here, it's probably like very obvious that I have the Sentinel, so he probably will play into it. He also just tried to race me at four in the air, which is pretty good considering he has six life on Artifact over there as well. Um, Kind of awkward for me, actually. Um, I think I just need to opt to try and f draw cards here and pr try and find that revoke existence to deal with his rebels. Um, yeah, you can't block this turn. Okay. I could have played this scrap melter a while ago and destroyed his golden urn, but I don't see the point of it because he sack and gain the life and I gain no real value off my card. Plus if he sacked in response, I can destroy one of my own cards, not so very good. <coughs> Effectively at fifteen for all intents and purposes, so if he wants to race here it's not very favorable for him. Well, maybe it is. Depends if he has more like air threats. This card's gained him 
so many, so much value. Oh my god. <coughs> So now we're beating down for a lot more than I have the now that I have the rest of relic out. So he pulled all that mana screw pretty well. He's actually in a decent position to take this game, considering he has seven life currently stocked up. So um, he's actually, in my opinion, in a winning position, assuming he's got like any kind of decent follow up. So we have a little bit of work cut out for us. I mean, it all depends what he does with his Dark Slick trick and his Lumen Crit trick, so... <coughs> I'm kind of trying to hold on to my Scrap Melter right now, um, especially since we know he has Battle Sphere in his deck, we need a way to deal with it. And if I see the Revoke Existence, the first thing I'm going after is the Revel, so... Yeah, need to kind of sit on the Scrap Melter just a little bit more. Oh, he's getting really offensive with his cards, so probably has something like a beast or a dinosaur in his hand or something like that. 